We're back for another full day of eating. So today we are gonna do a video on the lowest amount of calories that we can consume in one day. Without fasting. We're talking Ooh, eating about you could four... have eaten less than that, you could have just not eaten. Yeah. All right, well done, yeah, yeah funny. Brilliant. We'll, we'll Someone will a... say it, someone will say it. Wouldn't make much of a video then, would it? <laughs> no. Like, this is us eating nothing, full day of eating, nothing. Let's get going. <laughs> So what's for lunch? What a face got? only a mother could love, that is. Not even a mother could love. Yeah. We've got some salad. I'm gonna cook up some mushrooms. You don't need to do that with everything, mate. That's not for lunch. It's for later. Sliced chicken. Might fry off some of that. Might not, we'll see. Depends how crazy I'm feeling. Salt, lighter than light mayo. Monster each. Let's go. First meal, <coughs> lunchtime, what time is it? It's like half eleven, eh? Yeah, half eleven. You don't have to have breakfast. Refer to a previous video. I had a couple of coffees this morning, this first meal. Protein in this is about 40 grams at least, is it? And the only calories in it are pretty much from that protein. Um, Negligible amounts from carbohydrates. The other thing to remember is on all the other videos, we've never been exact with it, really. So even around 1800, it's been around 1800. Yeah. And for that merit, you don't have to be, by the way. No, you don't have to. I've seen people thinking they're hardcore because they track their lettuce. You're not hardcore, mate, you're a fucking gimp. Why would you track your lettuce? It's negligible calories. Are you tracking every single step? Every single time you move your arm? What happens if you take longer to push your shit out in the morning? Yeah, makes no difference. Negligible calories on your intake like that really don't count for very much. So tracking it is just a waste of time. You're possibly getting more and more diet fatigue because you're having to do bullshit, boring stuff that isn't necessary. Focus on the big things. If you haven't got a big thing, unlucky. Okay. Join the club. Anyway, we're gonna eat this and then we're gonna go and train not legs. No. This is really appetizing, right? Of course it is. Post workout, it's about three o'clock. Last time we ate was 11.30. So we've got our protein timing about right, I'd say. Bang on, actually. You'll notice that there's a huge abundance of carbohydrates in this meal. Because you've got a high demand for a higher demand for it. You haven't. The same again, probably about 250 cows, probably. Like another two more meals or 250 after this, I reckon. Yeah. We're gonna try and hit a thousand today. It's gonna to be pretty boring, let's be honest. Yeah. But at least it's gonna show you that it's doable and give you an idea of how to get four, maybe five, possibly three three reasonably sized meals and then possibly one to two snacks within a thousand calories, which is pretty fucking low, to be honest. And it's not to recommend, we're not recommending you do this every single day, no. but it's just to show you that the odd day where if you do go a little bit over, you can rectify the situation by going under for a day. And like, you can stick to this these sort of calories for three days of the week. It is fucking useful. If yeah. you do have a day where you go a bit over, you want cheesecake for breakfast. Do you know what I mean? There's not many times where a huge demographic would be looking at dying on a thousand calories. This is would be considered a really aggressive day. So even bikini competitors who are usually quite light, like on minimal calories, are not gonna go too much below a thousand. Hopefully this shows that you can still fit in a decent amount of food. Like we're not gonna die. Yeah, we're fucking hungry. We just gotta deal with it. It's not big and it's not clever though, to do it forever, but don't it's doable. Like, it's doable. So many people have said, why are you dieting so low? And it's like, 1800 calories isn't really that low. Is it necessary? No, it's not necessary. You could lose weight on, on more calories. Of course you could. If you can diet on the lower end and it doesn't affect your adherence or relationship with food, if you're in a good place with your food, mm -hmm. And you know that you're going to stick to it. Obviously, if you're going to overeat in two or three days time by going so low, then that's not the best thing for you. No. So for the individual, and again, I've had people go, well, why are you dieting on less calories than me? Because, because I know that I can. And it's not to say that other people can't, but you've got to assess each case within its merit. And like Dan said, we've been through this process quite a lot now. So there you have it, guys. Vegan mints, mushrooms, chicken sausages. Getting a meal that's coming in about 300 calories and there is a shitload of food on that plate uh, that I'm sure even Mike would be proud of. Now, of course, the vegan mince isn't great on its own, but you throw in some onion salt, some soy sauce, some garlic granules, salt and pepper. It's not too bad. Like, it's not too bad. And that is a hell of a lot of food that's going to fill me up. No, leave that alone. Come here. What have you got for dinner? Do you know what you've got? Chicken nuggets. Chicken nuggets and sweet corn. Yeah. I'd rather have in chicken nuggets. What have I got? Mushrooms. Mushrooms. Sausages. Sausages. Dinner, that. That's horrible. It's called vegan mince. Vegan mince. No, it's broccoli. It's broccoli rice. It's not very nice. You know, you like broccoli though, don't you? Chicken nuggets and sprinkled and butter. It's probably more calories than yours than mine. What have you got there? 
Um, corn. No, in your hand, what's that? Huh? What's this? Snake. Snake. Mm. Look like a snake to me. There you go. Now, obviously, at this point, like, I'm pretty hungry. I'm not going to lie. 500 calories so far today. 515, I think it is. I'm starting to feel that little bit like, ugh, I could do with some food. So, it's come up a good time. The thing with this is it was always going to be just to show how low you can go during a day. Like I said, it's not, um, it's not about trying to be a hero or trying to, you know, do this for a long periods of time, but just show you that like, for a day you can probably manage it all right. But I imagine Mike would have gone even more volume than I'd gone. So let's go. Right. They look a bit scummy with that thing on. It does. It looks a bit scummy with that on, doesn't it? With that shirt on. Ooh, that's better lighting, isn't it, Dad? Or is it not? So you know your shit. Oh, fucking hell, something here. Yeah. You know your shit when you don't even know what good lighting is. I mean, that's way too bright. What about that? That's all right. I'm in. Is I'm being the right word? I mean, I do need to dry my clothes though, that's the thing. What about if I put my head away? Look at that, like I'm a pro. And I can even tilt it that way, look. So that I'm in the middle of the shot. Look at that, always learning. Right then, the bit that you're all waiting for, obviously, Mike's on his own. In fact, he's probably gonna use a fucking, oh God, you can see the top. I've just spent ages trying to sort that out. So yeah, the bit that you're all waiting for, the funny bit, let's, or take the piss out of Mike because he still can't get it. Um, and this genuinely isn't a put on either. Like every single time, I'm almost amazing myself at how bad I am. Hopefully this time goes better. Like, because I get that it's starting to zoom in now, so I need to set it further back. The tea, the dinner, tea, whatever, tea, because I'm Northern. Is it dinner or is it tea, by the way? We had this little debate the other day on fucking nougat and nugget. It's all, we all know it's nugget. Nougat. It, it even sounds ridiculous, nougat. I wouldn't be caught dead saying it. Even if I'm wrong, I, st I still think it should be changed to nugget. Do you say dinner or tea? Because I think Dan says dinner and I say tea. I'm right on this one. Come on, no come on the north. So I'm gonna be having, I think I'm gonna be having the same as Dan. God, this is a boring fucking episode. Do you know what I might do? I might read you something from this book that my client Aaron got me. Um, to just liven things up a bit. So let's see. I think I'm going to have the same as Dan. I'm pretty sure we are because we're going for a, ridi a ridiculous idea from Dan, if, if, if I'm honest. <sighs> right, I'm going to make chicken with broccoli rice. It's even depressing me thinking about it. So God knows what it's doing to you. See, I've started the fucking thing again, haven't I? Before I need to. I always do it. Do I want butternut squash waffles as well? What's the calories going to be? Yeah, fuck him. I'm having them. Right, it's gonna be a fucking well simple meal, this. Right, children, there's the ring light. Not even bothering to hide it out of shot. Brilliant. Um, maybe add something. Maybe it's a bit like behind the scenes, except not, not. I'm looking at that fucking thing again. Maybe it's a bit like behind the scenes, but not behind the scenes because this is the actual footage. So it's not like behind the scenes at all, is it? British chicken. We don't discriminate though. Any race chicken will do. Broccoli rice. I mean, the good thing about broccoli rice is that it is both hanging and low calorie, so. It's only 90 calories for the full fucking thing. And now these, these are 130 for the full lot as well, which ain't too bad. So if I have 45 from that, from if I have half, and then I have 130, so that's 175, and then I'm gonna have about 150 grams of chicken. I reckon we'll still be roughly at about a thousand calories. Yeah, this will take me up to about a thousand with my Greek yogurt before bed. What a depressing day. Framed up. Oh, he's only fucking smashed it. So, food is done. Fucking slick. Food is done. I mean, it doesn't look great, I'll be honest. That, my friend, looks about as appetizing as turd on toast. Not a good look. Salad, broccoli rice, chicken, mushroom, covered in soy and garlic to try to get rid of the taste. Also got these butternut squash waffles. Yeah, fucked it. Battery ran out. I can't have a clear fucking run, can I? And now I don't think the camera's in the same place, so the fucking editing's gonna be off. Now I am fucking hungry, so I'm gonna fucking eat. I didn't fuck up as much on this one, did I, Dan? Try to get some content out of that motherfucker. off the day it's 10 o'clock so I'm on 1120 calories uh, macros 186 protein 59 carbohydrate and 16 grams of fat now this is not big it's not clever 
This is not something you could sustain for long periods of time, but it is just to show you that the odd day here and there, you can go that low, you can survive, like I feel okay. This would be the lowest amount you could probably go for sort of three or four days if you had like a show or a shoot or something, really, really big goal ahead of you. You could probably do this and probably adhere to it, but you gotta remember some people stick to these sorts of calories like weeks on end. Um, and you wonder why, you know, they have like cheat meals and stuff like that and, and they go over the top. So it's one of those things where as long as your relationship with food is okay, as long as you're in a good place there, and as long as you've got a goal in mind, um, the odd day here and there like this isn't going to be a huge, huge problem. It is just to show people who have been saying, oh, why are you on so low calories? You need 100. And to be honest, I don't feel that that is particularly too low. And this is what flexible dieting is. It's taking those calories you eat each day and varying them. It's not about how much shit you can fit into your day. You've got to have days like that. You've got to have days that are just based around protein and veg. Made a mistake. Not with filming, though. Although that's bright, isn't it? Brighter than last time. Them diagonal lines are back. My mistake, didn't realize I didn't have any jelly or frozen berries, so I've got Greek yogurt. 250 grams thereof. Also, I've got no sweetener in. You ever had Greek yogurt without sweetener in? Not good. I think there's about 120 calories in that. If my maths are out, I'm under, I'm under a thousand for today. But still, yeah, I'm hungry. But it's 10 o'clock, it's not the end of the day. It is the end of the day, brilliant. Not the end of the world though, for fuck's sake. It's not the end of the world though. And also, by the way, what's the best diet drink? The answer is that. Dr. Pepper. If anybody's got any differences of opinion, feel free to stick them in the, in the comments below just to show everybody else how wrong you are. And I don't think that this fucking film has been that bad, you know. I finally nailed it. Although I might be forgetting what happened earlier, because I tend to do that. When I watch the stuff back off the memory card, I, I can't remember doing half of it, and it's always shit. But we will see. Um, I think I think it's gone all right, other than the fact that my food's been wank. I think the filming's gone good. All you need to know is basically, you can go through the day lower than what you think. You're not going to die if you eat a thousand calories. I'm not going to eat a thousand tomorrow. But if you're trying to lose body fat. And for example, you can go through a day with eating a little bit less, then why wouldn't you eat a little bit less? Certain days you can push a little bit harder than other days. You don't have to be linear across a week if you don't want to, as long as it doesn't mean that you overeat on other days. Um, like for example, if tomorrow, if I was that hungry that tomorrow I ate 4,000, it's obviously counterproductive. Whereas I know that I can be as aggressive as this and it not really lead on to overeating tomorrow. So if the fat loss is there, take it. Don't be worried about going too low. Don't be worried about people scaring you into thinking you're going to damage your metabolism. <laughs>